All right, Shalom. We the brothers of a great millstone that branch out of Des Moines. First and foremost, we like to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakwadash. That will honor us to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who are preaching the gospel and truth and sincerity, always in charity. And um, it's a brother Mathati. I'm with uh, the brother you call. And um, as you can see, the title, man, is, is Teach What Was Taught. So we're going to go into the importance of continuing down in the things that we have learned. Matter of fact, we can start with that precept. Second Timothy 3. Con, this is the book of uh, Second Timothy chapter 3 and verse 14. It says, But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Now that's key. It says, Continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, man. Right? Because it speaks about, um, what is that, Acts 16? It speaks about the church of Berea. Con. Or is it Acts 17, 17 and 10, if I'm not mistaken? Con. This is the book of Acts chapter 17 and verse 10. It says, And the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, who coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jews. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, and that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. Right. So you become assured of those things through searching the scriptures, man. Right. So it says, continue down the things which thou hast learned, being assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them from. So here it is. We learn from these men who are speaking these words. Then we go back and search the scriptures to, to see whether those things were so. That's first uh, uh, John, the fourth chapter. It speaks about what? Try the spirit by the spirit because many false prophets are going out into the world. So what? We try the spirit. So according to John, uh, not John, I'm sorry. According to Jeremiah. Uh, the third chapter and the 23rd chapter it speaks about how the Lord would give us pastors and shepherds according to his heart, which shall feed us. So that's being assured of whom we're learning from, man. And we ought to continue in those things. You see, because that's the counsel from the heavens. And if we go outside of that, that, that teaching, if we go outside of that counsel, then we're going outside the covering of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, as it is written in Isaiah, the 30th chapter, man. Matter of fact, I grabbed that. This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 30 and verse 1, it says, Woe to the rebellious children. So if we go on outside of the proper teachings of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, that's given unto us through the Holy Spirit by, 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 by um, certain men that's on this earth that the Holy Spirit is resting upon. If we go outside of that, then that would make us rebellious children, man. Because here it is, there's a particular doctrine that the Lord has given unto uh, uh, men with the Holy Spirit in order to reconcile himself unto us, man. Anything outside of that, you're rebelling. What did Yahweh Shah say? He said, if you're not gathering with me, you're scattering abroad. There's another precept where it says that no lie is of the truth, man. So we have to make sure um, that our doctrine is whole. It says in 1 Timothy 4, uh, uh, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine continue in them because in doing so thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee you see so it starts with what with ourselves if we're teaching uh, uh, something wrong the lord can destroy us for that man that means we're false prophets that means we're false watchmen and if and if there's people that's listening to us, we can lead them astray, which would cause their blood to be on our hands, man. So it's a very dangerous game when we go outside of, uh, uh, of what was taught. You know, I'm, I'm going to finish this out and yeah, you got it. Isaiah 30 and 1, it says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, that take counsel, but not of me. What is our counsels? It's the testimonies, man. And who are preaching the testimonies? The men we're learning from, you see? It says, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, man. So if we're not teaching this directly and correctly, then what? Then sin upon sin is being added, you know? But you got it, bro. Con, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 5, and verse, uh, and verse uh, 10. It says, uh, I'm, I'm going to start at verse 9. It says, winnow not with every wind and go not in every way. All right, and that reminds me, I believe that that might be, in, well, I know it's in the New Testament. It talks about uh, we shouldn't be as children, all right, uh, being yeah. tossed and fro by every wind of doctrine. Ephesians 4. Con, con, you know, so we got to be mindful of what? Just not getting caught up in these other doctrines, but not even that, man. 
not even just that alone, man. Satan will try and throw different things in here. Oh, this means that. This means that. Or this and X, Y, and Z. And then not going to verifying those things, man. All right, being hasty in the spirit, you know. So sometimes, hey, hey we got to make sure, hey, I was thinking about this or I haven't heard it broken down like this. Does this apply? Can I apply this way? Just doing that is keeping you safe. Oh, nah, brother, that don't mean that. You can't apply it this way. Those doing those things helps keeps keeps us safe from teaching false doctrines, man. But it says, uh, win or not with every win and go not in every way. For so doth the sinner that hath the double tongue. This is the point. Verse 10. Be steadfast in thy understanding and let thy word be the same. It says, be steadfast in thy understanding. That word steadfast means to be firm and stable. All right. And it says, through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. So the more that we go back and search the scriptures, the more that we continue to go over these breakdowns. All right. Get it in our spirit. That'll build up our... Um, our uh, stability, all right, for lack of a better way to say it, in these precepts, man, in the in the correct doctrine. And once again, man, we got to go back and, and, and check these things, verify, ask questions, man. All right, we got to get to, uh, we have to go from a point of being parrots, okay, to what? To making sure that we're, we're actually, nah, this means this because of that, all right, because of this and because of this precept and that precept and so on and so forth, man. But I just wanted to uh, make that point. That's it. That's it. I'm a... Uh jump to um what is that uh study to show thyself approved it's okay. first timothy second timothy this is the book of um second timothy 2 and 15 <clears throat> it says um study to show thyself approved unto the most high what, where were you at second timothy 2 and 15 i went to titus i'm sorry Kind of Second Timothy two and fifteen. Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. And that's the key point. It says a workman. All right, because this is a this is a labor, man. All right, we can't be lazy. You know, uh, uh, when it comes down to just doing these lessons and everything like that, man. No, we got to go back and search. All right, you might have a precept that you wanna you wanna bring in. All right, but then you don't wanna go. You don't. Uh, I ain't finna go back over it. Hey, sometimes you want to make sure that you're going back over those things, man. If you aren't sure about something, just to make sure that you bringing out the correct uh, uh, understanding of the precepts. It says, study to show thyself approved unto the Most High. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Right. And, and um, here in the, uh, the definition of workman, it says a workman, a laborer, usually one who works for hire, especially an agricultural worker. But I'm going to go down to uh, the Strong's definition. It says a toiler figuratively a teacher now what does it tells us in hebrews the fifth chapter it says when thou art when it's time for thou ought to be teachers you have need that one teach you again which is the uh the, the the first principles of the oracles of the heavenly father i'm roughly paraphrasing that precept as hebrews 5 and 12 that's showing us the importance of making sure we got this correct it says when you have to, when, when when it's the time to come for you to be a teacher you need to be instructed to, uh, uh, again to make sure that these things are down packed within our spirit, man. Showing you the importance of what? Making sure we're speaking the correct things. Because anything outside of the proper doctrine, man, that can, that can lead to our own uh, destruction and the people who, who, who's listening to us, man. You know? You want to read the next verse, Bible, Kishore? Okay. Uh, this is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 16. But shun profane. And, and just real quick, that word uh, uh, rightly divided, I'm just going to it. It's the Greek word orthotomeo, which means to cut straight, to cut straight ways, to proceed on straight paths. It says to make straight and smooth, to handle a right, to teach the truth directly and correctly, man. You see? Now, when you go down to the Strong's definition, it says to dissect or expound correctly the divine message. <laughs> you see? Because if we switch up any words uh, 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 from this message, then it's not the message of the Heavenly Father anymore, man. What does it say in Jeremiah? It says, uh, um, is that the 23rd chapter? It says, they, uh, they spoke, I have oh, not spoken unto them, them, and yet, yet they, they ran. ran. And then it says what? It says that um, if they if they would have stood in my counsel, then they would have uh, caused my people to, uh, to to repent. I'm roughly yeah, paraphrasing. I got it. Mm -hmm. This is Jeremiah 23 and 21. 
It says, I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from the air, from their evil way and from the evil of their doing. You see, <laughs> you know, so it's the importance of what standing in the counsel of the Lord and speaking the proper things, man, according to his spirit, according to what was taught us, uh, 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 to us, man, because the scripture says we're going back to that uh, definition of a workman. It says a laborer. Well, didn't it say that uh, we have entered into other men's labors? So here it is. Men came before us, man. So therefore, we continue in, 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 in what we were taught. We're, uh, what is that? Acts. Here's the book of Acts. Chapter 2. And verse 42. It says, and they continued steadfastly. That, that, that word steadfast, steadfast. Keep steadfast in thy uh, understanding, man. Mm -hmm. And they continued steadfastly. In the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers, man. Yep. And just even adding to that steadfast, because like I mentioned, it mentions, uh, it says firm. All right. But it says uh, stable and it says unmovable and uh, unshakable as well, man. When you look it up in the Edomai, All right. So we can't be shaken from outside, moving outside or speaking outside of the proper doctrine and the apostles' doctrine, man. All right. We got guys that where, where we see examples of that where men... All right, they think, oh, nah, I they get on a level. They think they start understanding certain things. Then they start teaching all types of wayward stuff, man. All right? Uh, the scriptures talk about being not, uh, be not curious and uh, uh, unnecessary matters, roughly paraphrasing, man. They start going into this and going into that, and the whole time going off, man. You know, so we want to make sure that, hey, we have a, a, a continent mind, man. A continent mind meaning it's within within the boundaries, man. This is what the doctrine says. This is what, this is what we're teaching. I'm staying within those boundaries, man, because going yep. outside of that, it's causing us to be unsafe. Yeah. All right. Well, we're building. Mm -hmm. uh, Revelation 11, it says, All measure kind. the reed. Uh, that He handed me a reed like unto a rod, saying, measure the temple. temple. Where we're building. Paul told us in Ephesians, I believe it's the third chapter. He said uh, that we may comprehend with all saints what is the width. The breadth, the height, and the depth. Right. So we're building, man. Of and if, the blueprint. Yeah, yeah. And and, and and he told us in First Corinthians the third chapter, take heed how we build. Cause no other foundation can be laid than than, than, than Yahweh Shah. So we're building upon that, man. So we have to make sure what it what 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 it uh, uh, uh he say when he wrote about Moses uh in the book of Hebrews. Paul said that Moses was warned. That he should build the tabernacle according to the pattern that he that he was uh, uh, shown, man. Mm -hmm. Well, the Holy Spirit has shown us how to build, how to teach through our elders, through our teachers, man. That's right. So we ought to follow that blueprint. And going outside of that means that's not the mess. That's not the divine message anymore, man. That means that it's not uh, um, the words of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, you know. And the Lord got. Uh, uh, um, a special judgment for the false prophets, for the false teachers who are out there perverting and twisting his word. What does it say? It says it's in three different places. It says it in the law in Deuteronomy. It says it also in Proverbs. And it says it in the last book, in the book of Revelation, the 22nd chapter. It says not to add unto it or not to take away from these things, man. So when you put in your own interpretation or you add in certain things or take it away certain things, then hey, yeah, that, 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 that's a great judgment. That the Lord is going to bring upon the people that's doing that. The one that says in Proverbs, it says that, um, add not unto his word, lest thou be found a liar. And what did it say about lies? In the book of Revelation, it says that all liars and everyone that love it shall have their part in the lake that burneth with fire, man. See how serious that is? But you got it, bro. Come on, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 16 and 24. Sirach 16 and 24 it says uh, my son hearken unto me and learn knowledge and mark my words with thy heart I will show forth doctrine and wait and declare his knowledge exactly that's it so it says we have we should be declaring this knowledge exactly man now that word exact in the edamon it says precise rigorous accurate <laughs> all right so we got to be accurate precise and teaching this word man yeah, I, man, I believe um, that's written also in the 51st chapter. Yep, kind it is, it is. I thought about that one, and then I just read this the other day, so that was prevalent in my mind. 
But uh, Ciroc chapter uh, 51 and 19. He started 18. Con, Ciroc 51 and 18. For I purpose to do after her. To do after her. Now, there I believe it's the 14th chapter. But it speaks about go after her as one that traceth and lie in wait in her ways. So we're following a pattern, man. Matter of fact, I gotta, I gotta grab that. I gotta grab that. Sirach 14 and 22. It says, Go after her as one that traceth and lie in wait in her ways. He that prieth in at her windows shall also hearken at her doors. He that doeth lodge near her house shall also fasten a pen in her walls. He shall pitch his tent nigh unto her and shall lodge in a lodging where, where good things are, man. I'm going to just finish it out. He shall set his children under her shelter and shall lodge under her branches. By her he shall be covered from heat and in her glory shall he dwell, man. So we're showing you what we should be uh, um, head over heels for this word, man. Following after. Going back to this Sirach 14. Not Sirach 14. Going back to this Sirach 51. You got it back, bro. Kind of Sirach 51 and verse 19 or verse 18. For I purpose to do after her and earnestly I followed that which is good. Earnestly. When you go into that word earnest, it goes into a, 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 a strenuous effort, a, a, a diligence yep. Yep. that you put forth. Yep. What? And following after. And also a seriousness. You know, when you're earnest, you're serious about something, man. So it's like, it's not a light thing. Like, oh, I'm going to just say whatever. All right. And you got guys that got that mentality, man. You got guys that say, oh, let's just put the doctrine to the side. Not realizing the consequences of teaching, uh, 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 teaching incorrectly, man. But it says, um, it says, um, uh, for our purpose to do after her and earnestly, I followed that which is good. So shall I not be confounded. All right. So earnestly following after this wisdom, purposing to do after her can ensure that we won't be confounded. Yep. I eat. Destroy it. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Destroy Hey, what did, uh, what did the Lord tell, uh, Jeremiah in the first chapter, man? All right. He told him to uh, to go before them, pretty much teach my word, lest yep. I confound thee before them. Said, be not dismayed at their faces. That's right, man. That's right. So even with Jeremiah, and uh, the, well, that's all the prophets. They couldn't just go out there. The Lord gave him a word, and nah, I feel I'm going to tell them this instead. You know? Or even being wavering on the word that was given. Yep. You know? Uh, is this the truth? You know, you got to be fully persuaded. You got to know it is, man. It says being assured of in that precept that we read earlier. That's right. So it's like... You are sure, you're sure, like, nah, this is that, and I know this because of this precept, that precept, this is what I've been taught, and I, and I know that what I've been taught is the right way because these precepts yep. are backing up those points. The Church of Berea. Exactly. The confidence comes through the, through, through the precepts, man, through the studying. Mm -hmm. Through thy precepts, I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way, man. It says, uh, my soul hath wrestled after. So like my soul hath wrestled with her and in my doings I was exact mm. I stretched forth my hands to the heaven above and bewailed my ignorances he of cried her. of the ignorances of her bro mm -hmm. oh I didn't know that I didn't know this in instead of just willing it's saying some shit man and it tells you in Sirach, um uh has thou knowledge answer thy neighbor if not lay thy hand, hand upon, upon thy, thy mouth, mouth man Roughly paraphrasing, you know. So if you understand it, then teach it. If you don't, shut the hell up. Because it can lead uh, to destruction. It speaks about how life and death is in the power of the tongue. How much more when we have this, this, this knowledge uh, within our lips, man. You got a regular nigga out there. Saying whatever, swearing, lying, stealing, he gonna get his mouth gonna cause him to get destroyed. How much more a man that has this word, but he's perverting it? But you got it, bro. If you got something, yeah, Con. This is Sirach chapter three and verse twenty-one. It says, Sirach three and twenty-one, seek not out things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. So. As a babe, there's certain things that may be too hard. You might not fully understand yet. And it's like, don't speak on it, man. You know, like the brother quoted that precept. If you if you can't answer, if you can't answer your neighbor, put your hand upon your mouth as opposed to just winging it, saying whatever. All right. And then that's adding sin. OK, it says, uh, seek not out the things that are too hard for thee. Neither search the things that are above thy strength, 
but what is commanded thee, think thereupon with reverence, all right, with a fear, a reverence, all right, uh, uh, for it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. All right, so ultimately just bringing that out to say, hey, we hey, got to stay in our lane, man. Certain things you might not understand, don't speak on it. Or cert or get the understanding before speaking on it, all right? Mm -hmm. You know, being established in it, man. But that, but you keep reading down Bible show. Okay, come on. Verse uh, 23, be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are showed unto thee than men understand. And that's key. You know? More things are showed unto us than men understand. The uh, the, uh, the the Gentiles, yeah. which are the Israelite foreigners. The milk is really hey, us, us being Israel, yeah. that's heavy within itself. Yeah. Being able to look at the curses and be like, no, nah, that's us. <laughs> you know? Knowing the names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Knowing that they, that they are dark-skinned uh, beings. This is all heavy knowledge that we have, man. You know? And I'm talking about the basic, the basic milk things, right? But you got it. It says, um, for many are deceived by their own vain opinion. You see? Many are deceived by their own vain opinion. Well, I think this means this. Well, I'm going to apply this to that. Nah, man, that's a dangerous game, man. Go ahead. And an evil suspicion hath overthrown their judgment. Mm -hmm. It says, without eyes, that's... And you, and you got that, like... You know, this is uh, talking about another matter, but you got guys that, man, they just don't like me or, or man, they always on this and and, and, and the evil suspicion overthrow the judgment within the matter, man. That's why we got to rely on these precepts as a whole and what we teach in, but also what we trust in, man. But go ahead, bro. Without eyes, thou shalt, thou shalt want light. Profess not the knowledge, therefore, that thou has not. That's it, man. You see? Profess not the knowledge. If you don't, you ain't got it. Don't speak on it, man. Yeah, it's nothing wrong. Like even at times, man, a brother might ask a question. You know, I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I I don't know about that. You know, and then going back and instead of instead of winking it, man. You know, hey, and the same thing uh, with a lesson, man. Because that'll happen at times, man. You will be hot. All right. Then a precept coming to your mind, man. Then all of a sudden, you know, it's like, hold on, you you read him like, wait, hold on, it, it might it might not sit right, all right, or it might not apply the way that you're trying to uh, apply it, or whatever the case it may be, and being able to to sit back and 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 see that, man, you know, like, hold on, let me let me review, I'm gonna have to review that, <laughs> I'm gonna have to take my time, you know, you might screen your own lesson that because this happens at times, man, you might have to screen your you screen your own lesson, like, nah, that that didn't apply there, and, and and make a phone call, whatever the case it may be, man. The point being is that moving in the fear of Yahweh by Shimmy Shah to make sure that we are teaching the right things, man, and doing whatever is necessary to make sure that's what's going down. That's it. That's all I had though. Kind, that was it. Hey, so Lord, will we hope this is out of fine? The water Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah for giving the Spirit to do this lesson. We don't give all praises honor, glory to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah Bahasham Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, all is in charity. Hey, shalom. shalom.